And it's all picked except for uh, which part? There's another sum of it this hammer I'm pulling off. I gotta figure out what that is real quick. It's the descending part on the high string. I pick everything except for this. Or I do two pull offs. So it sounds like that. Again, kind of an odd fingering for diminished, but sounds pretty good. And let me do that whole thing uh, a little slow so you can hear it together. Rock and roll. that one in order to uh, actually play it live you're going to need uh, a friend to play the other part on guitar because it's uh, two parts originally played on piano it's uh, an invention by Bach once again in uh, the key of F major <laughs> nice piece. It's um, got some things that I want to slow down for you. The uh, One of the main sequences in it is uh, this sort of thing where it goes... Uh, that kind of lick there, where it's again a sort of another pedal tone kind of lick, where the lowest note is the pedal note, which is this A. So it's like A, C, B flat, C. And that's uh, a simple lick, but challenging to play fast and to keep the two hands synchronized. So you want to really concentrate on making sure that each note that's picked is a different note with your left hand than the last one was. And that's just harmonized down uh, in that same scale. Some more tips on that might be um, when you pick it, especially with distortion, you want to pick it pretty lightly. You don't have to dig in that much. And you really want to sort of feel around with the angle of the pick about uh, where it's sounding the best. Because uh, if, if there's not enough angle, it might hit the string too hard and make it sound kind of choppy with the distortion. You want a cleaner, smoother sound. <laughs> Uh, another thing that's real challenging in this one is there's a couple of interval skips where I had to resort to finger picking. Not one of my strongest points, but I couldn't think of any other way to get the notes cleanly. So uh, here's one of the main parts. It sounds like this. And uh, let me play that a little bit quicker. And 
And uh, basically, I'm just using my thumb and my first finger to go up and down with those, uh, with those interval skips. I've seen people hold a pick and do that, but I can't do that at all, so I have to resort to that. Um, let me try that again with a little more distortion. Seems like the more distortion, the easier it gets. So here's the, here's the uh, right hand part of it, just by itself, so you can hear it a little clear. That came out pretty good. Now, the uh, left-hand part on piano, which is the lower part on guitar, uh, basically starts an octave lower. Has a lot of those same licks. And probably the toughest thing to play in this one is um, a part It's down low, and it's, it's pretty difficult to make the notes come through because they're played really quickly and uh, you have to mute a lot to get these to come out. It sounds like this slow. Sort of a pedal tone part. And I'm using the open D string as the pedal. So your pick has to go pretty wide to skip that string when you get to the low E and the D. Now with distortion, you really have to be careful to make sure that all comes out clean. The next part, uh, I have to use the C as a pedal. And uh, that part's actually even a little bit tougher because I can't use the open string, I have to fret it. So those two together sound like this. And let me play that whole thing so you can hear how they sound in context.